Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Play of Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. Last time, we finished Shocker with ease. Now, we got... Um, I don't even, I kind of know what's in store for us, be, like, there's, like, a mission with a bomb, like, we gotta, we kind of gotta defuse a bomb kind of deal, and then we gotta do some stuff at, at, a, at a warehouse. Let's, uh, let's, let's just, let's jump into this, though. Alrighty. Rolling blackout still affecting the city, guys. It's just kind of telling us that, uh, you know, Electro's out there. Holy sh... Dude, nice recovery, Spidey. So where did they come from? I think Stan is gonna talk to us real quick, so... Let's... Let, let's just... Let's get... Let's... Hey there, Spidey fans! Shh. These guys look like they're up to no good. Well, luckily Spidey's on the scene to make them realize the error of their ways. Right. So watch out, Webhead. This time you may be in over your head. That Alrighty. I got from the shocker's goon said there's something going down at the airfield tonight. If I hurry, take that guy out. All right. So we pretty much need to make our way over there. They're gonna start the bomb, and then we have to defuse the bomb. Easy as pie. Yep, there it is, there's guys. Spider-Man, arm the bomb and clear out. <laughs> a bomb. Seconds this later. Size could take out a whole city block. Better find the mercenaries and figure out how to turn it off. That bomb had slots that looked like they were made for keys. If I can find them, I can probably disarm the bomb. So, I'm sorry I am really focused right now because like I don't want to lose for you guys again. Like <laughs> <gasps> well, this is a race against time, guys. I freaking hate these missions because this reminds me of the Spider-Man 1 mission. Uh, and you're, like, disarming all the bombs, and you're just, like, freaking timed like crazy, and it's just horrible. That's two. We're halfway there. All right. Uh, so one thing that I keep trying to mention, but I'm too focused on this game right now, is... One comment I got on the game, on the first game, was actually on the Scorpion mission. Uh, just because, uh, recording and editing these is, like, kind of weird. But yeah, so the comment I was trying to talk about was, uh, he was, it was actually my visual effects editor. He was telling me that, actually, the costume, uh, that Scorpion was wearing in the first mission... Or in the first boss battle, excuse me. Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna die. Well, I'm gonna lose, guys, again. Wasn't even that big of an explosion, like... But yeah, so, uh, apparently the, hey there, the costume fans. that I was talking These about, the green costume, no good. Well, was on the actually the, um... So that was actually an early development costume because they were going to use the original comic book costume, but then they used the one from what is it? Uh, the, it was a cop. They updated the costume, and that's the costume they used in like the '90s, early 2000s. Arm the bomb. And pretty much at that point, they just kind of switched the costume out, and that was the costume that was in the game then. Which I mean. It's kind of cool to think about, but I do really wish they still had that costume in there. I do remember seeing gameplay of it, so maybe that was just like a early development of the game. That, you know, and then someone just had that. So, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta keep moving. I was trying to find some freaking health, but apparently that's not gonna happen right now. I gotta get this key in there. One down, three to go. Dude, I'm gonna freaking die again. I always wanted a red key. All right. Anyways, so that's where the red key was that I was looking that's for before. Two. We're halfway there. 
I do know where the next keys are, guys. So we're there. We just need to find some freaking health. So hopefully some health will come upon us. But it does not seem likely at this point. Maybe. Maybe we'll get some health. But I do think we got to get the keys, though, too, so... All right, the yellow key. All right, screw that. We do need health. I think at this point, let's try and get that yellow key in there, and let's see if we can actually do this because this is scary. But I, we're getting there, guys. Like, we're doing. This might be the one. Three magical keys. All right, so let's try and find that health. There's a health pickup over here somewhere. There it is. Oh. All right. Health pickup. Perfect. Is that the guy I'm looking for? He's all mine. You should have called. He didn't need the screen key, did you? Guys, we got it. We freaking got it, man. This mission, all right, this mission was a little hard, but it's also kind of fun because it is a race against time, but I'm also bad at these missions. So, we're going to win, guys. And then all of a sudden, like, I get killed by, like, Scorpion or something because for some reason he just comes out of nowhere just to, just to spite me. Whew, that's it for the bot. Now that's it. The airfield. That's it, guys. Looks like my hunch was right. Okay, real quick. I gotta switch batteries. Keep watching the cutscene. This is getting serious. Wait a minute. That looks like the same briefcase that Shocker stole. If I can get this one, I bet I'll figure out what's going on here. The cops will be here soon. When they show, make sure they have a good time. <laughs> They're gonna ambush the cops, and with some pretty heavy gear as well. I better hurry and take those machine guns out. All right, We've got my camera back going again. If it's what focused on me. Okay, we're focused. The cops are on their way. So, whip up these machine guns. They're gonna be in for a for this night. mission. I think we're gonna try and go and a little stealthy. We're gonna try and be guns. stealthy at least. That's what I'm gonna try and do. But yeah, um, Better not let them I'm going to try and answer one more question while we do this. But so the thing that we can do that makes this actually really easy is we can go. We can't go right there. We got to go right here. Yep. He's talking about the lamppost. So Adding this free onto my webbing should make it we actually get like another ice. type of webbing, guys. Uh, freeze webbing. Uh, a little weird, but yeah. So now let's use this, and if we can target correctly, yep, we should be able to, <coughs> excuse me, swing right to there, and now we should be able to take all the turrets out with just our targeting system, and then, okay, so we go. So, and you do kind of have to be careful because you, you, you run out of webbing and also you don't, you, it takes a little bit of time to, to like destroy the machines. So, yeah. Um, I know this doesn't really like pertain to like anything we're talking about guys, but, um, the que the next question that I found or that I kind of wanted to talk about... Where's the next turret? There it is. Okay, okay, okay. So the next question that I have is... Um, can I make a Vigilante Deku costume? And this is on one of my... Uh, one of the cosplay videos that I did for the Deku cosplay. And funny enough, I believe I released it not too long ago of my version 2.0 cosplay and so the reason i did the 2.0 cosplay was because i wanted to take my original costume 
and make that the dark Deku costume. Is that another one right there? Alrighty. No, we ran out of webbing. That's three down, three to go. Can I still hit this one? I mean, I guess we could have just kind of been balls to the wall and just, uh, just started murdering people, but I don't know. But to get back to the question I was, I was getting at, yeah, so I will be doing the Deku costume or the dark Deku costume, excuse me. It's just going to take me some time because I finally just got that one done. I don't know. Things to think about is, like, the costume takes a lot of time. Considering I've never done a costume like that, it's probably the most complex costume I've done. Alright, I don't know if that's just, like... That was annoying, guys. I don't know why the... Maybe the police were coming. Alright. And if I remember... Yup, uh, this mission's kind of annoying too. It's not annoying, it's um... It's interesting that Spider-Man has to stop a plane, I guess. <laughs> Quick, Spider-Lad, you stop the plane and I'll get the bad guys. Oh wait, I don't have a sidekick. I guess a handy dandy spider tracer will have to do while I rescue the pilot. <laughs> I like how he's kind of referring to himself as Batman there. <laughs> Hurry, Spider-Lad. That'd be wild if he had actually like a weird sidekick, which I mean, Miles Morales is kind of his sidekick. Imagine if they called him Spider Lad. <laughs> Imagine just in the new trailer, like, you know, symbiote Spider-Man calls him uh, Spider Lad. All right, so big thing. Oh. I've got to clear these barrels out of the way. Great, the door's shut. There has to be a switch somewhere. Oof. All right. That plane's out of control. I can Maybe feel I can the power in my fingers. It. I can feel the um I can feel the webs coming out of my wrist. Golly. Yes! Oh. 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 No, I I just lost. There I I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this is the one. Great. The door's shut. There has to be a switch somewhere. Screw. Um, yeah, I know. Out of the way. The plane is going to blow if I don't clear a path for it. All right. Dude, like, why is it still going? Thank you for traveling, Air Spidey. Why was... I I mean, I told you guys it was the one. <laughs> Dude, that mission was wild. Rise and shine, Captain. <laughs> okay, that dude's dead. The pilot's safe. I have to get to that helicopter. Oh, my God. All right, guys. <laughs> Hope whoever's behind this isn't one of those island base in the middle of nowhere types. I don't have that much web fluid. Again, if you have any other comments that you want me to answer down below, leave them down there and I'll try and answer them on some of the next Let's Plays coming out. Remember to leave a like and any other comments down below. And remember to hit the subscribe button because the subscribe button is going to be waiting for everyone, guys. Deuces.